Dude, this feels like midwinter right now, but it's September 8th, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Tribute Lounge. I'm Shane Johnson, and today is another episode of Pro Visits. I'm lucky enough to have beside me here Mark Solers, one of the legendary BC riders, Burton riders, of course. And uh, we were discussing this earlier, and I think my favorite part with Mark, business casual, the man boys, the infamous man boys, he's been part of that crew at WIS forever. That opens up with you and Mikey Renz, and I mean, it's a clinic in backcountry snowboarding. Go check that out, that is key if you don't already know a bit of the backstory of my friend standing here. But the point of today is to really get into the grill master, talk a bit more family tree. Love that. And uh, yeah, Solars, thanks for coming, man. I'm really stoked to have you thanks here. Thanks for having me. This is, this is fantastic. We were, uh, we were chatting a little bit. We were both brought up by the same mentor in a way, Jeff Martino. Martino. Yep. yep. OG Burton rep around here, and he kind of taught me a lot of business. And Solars moved up through the crew in his pro, you know, Grom to moving to Burton to. to oh yeah, he fought for me the whole way through. Absolutely, man. Yeah, for yeah. The, the humble beginnings in Kelowna at Island Snow when I first got like the analog kit to be like, okay, cool, like you're gonna come on, uh -huh. and then just feeding my name to Burton head office until they, they gave me the the official contract. And it was U.S. Open, right? You went to a U.S. Open, and is that when you first got so, properly noticed? I wouldn't say that would. Be the breakout part. I did go to US Open before I was officially on the team. And I did, I mean, I don't even think I made finals, but I like met the right people. Um, in my opinion, where I think it all started was I was riding Camp Champions. And it was during the summer when I was officially working for Camp Champions. Cool. Yeah. I would ride the first jump and I would hike it all day long. And that's when Steve Harris was running the Anon tent. Awesome. So Mike Sperling was Steve also Harris there. Steve Harris from The Circle, Whistler. Yeah, yep. great guy. Uh, and Mike Sperling was also there. So I would hike them, hike that jump, and they would call out tricks for me to do. So I would get up there, and they'd be like, okay, back five. And I'd drop in back five, hike back up. And they're like, okay, front seven. I'm like, okay, front seven, drop in and do that. And then one day there was a random person there. Didn't think anything of it really, but just kind of thought it was weird that there was somebody else hanging all day with them after I was yeah. doing all these yeah. tricks. And it turned out to be Chaka, Michael Garzina from like Burton head office that was just doing, I don't know, just going out to check things out in the summertime. And so I was riding Time and really place, well. I mean. And then all of a sudden at the end, he was like, hey, like I'm Chaka from Burton. Like, nice to meet you. And then a month awesome. later, I got an official like introduction contract coming from the company. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm all about the history of product, but I'm also about the history of, of the riders, especially the regional guys. We grew up not far from each other, had rival snowboard shops almost Penticton over here and, and Kelowna over there with Island Snow and I was at Wooden Waves and California Connection way back but it's yeah. it's very cool to see how we've evolved to now me with my gray beard and uh, solar is absolutely killing it. I think it's it. turning so don't worry you're, it's, you're it's on its way right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the 10 year gap's pretty cool between the two of us and Mark has visited the shop many times he's been out to Bald Faces Supernatural, the original Supernatural. The original one, 2011 in. or 2012? Yep, yeah. we have posters of that upstairs. Um, and again, just like I say, Solars puts on a clinic in the backcountry, and that's why I'd, I'd urge you to check out Business Casual. The opening part in that is just absolutely fantastic. And then we're kind of going to evolve into gear. That's why yes. we're here. We're going to talk about gear. So Business Casual, let's start there. So now let's go back four years. I appreciate you reaching out about that one because that I, that I just was love kinda, that. I love that you say that because I didn't think anything of it, but that probably was my favorite year I've had snowboarding. It was right after COVID. We had a lot of limitations going on. It was just Renzi and I filming. We had Gabe Langlois out there. Uh, Rusty actually, I think, shot the entire another Penticton boy. Yeah, game Rusty too. Ockenden. and Rusty. Yep. And uh, and we kind of spent that year just like we didn't. There was a lot of uncertainty going on, so we we're just like, let's just go and snowboard as much as yeah. we can. And we we got to do anything we wanted without much kind of oversight and it's cool that it reflects in a way that you like enjoy it's it that fun. much yeah it's exactly. so fun I mean, and that's... the two of you guys are just i mean like i say it's a clinic it's you're Thank crushing you. it out there but there Thanks. probably was less pressure maybe was less right pressure. there's 
And it's no one from America could come up, so just yeah. me and Renzi and a couple filmers, and we just got to snowboard as much as we wanted to and do exactly what that small kind of two person crew wanted to do. So going back then, what what board were you riding? That would have been that was when we were starting to that would have been probably been the first round of protos for the territory manager. So before that, you were hometown hero. Hometown hero, I think, started 2019 yeah. is when I first got on it. Okay. And I loved it right off the bat. It was a touch soft for me, so I started working with Scott Seward from Engineering Burton, one of the board uh, designers. And designed the hometown, He designed right? the hometown yeah. hero. And I told him, obviously, how much I loved it, and I want to be a part of, like, kind of the progression of it. Um, but I needed something stiffer. So we worked into a stiffer version of that hometown hero. And then it does have 12 mils of taper. So I was like, well, let's make it a little bit more freestyle friendly. Maybe we'll move it down to seven or eight. Widen that tail out. Yeah. Yeah. And before we knew it, we were running through multiple rounds of what turned into the territory magic that went into the line. Very cool. Last year. Very, very cool. Yeah. All right. So we evolved from hometown to territory manager. Yes, sir. And now I'm on Instagram this summer and checking out footy you're in Chile yes crushing and you're riding this beauty yeah so the this grill is the master grill master exactly from Marco Grilch Grillo um a legend in snowboarding I who mean, was he, deeply missed absolutely yeah. um it's super unfortunate we miss him every day but he was working with the engineers to come up with this snowboard uh when he passed he, I think he was just in the final rounds of this development when he passed um so they did a late release last year with graphics done by his kids that uh, That's right. that contributed financials to the family. Yeah, yeah. And then we moved it into a uh, family tree limited edition line this year. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So immediately for me, I just key into how 90s looking this board is. Shape wise, um, you look at this nose. I mean, I love that silhouette. It looks fantastic. Yeah. <clears throat> the rounded nose is coming back for sure right Absolutely. now. A lot of people are really loving it. And then I love this cut too. I think it's just like the shape of it is what got my attention at first. And then once I started reading into the actual build and what it was designed for and having Gorilla behind it, I knew I had to try it. So now this is interesting because this is 15 mils of taper. Yeah. So this is much more tapered than you're usually riding. But if you see the, go back and check out Solar's Chile footage, you'll, I mean, this thing settles down nice. Oh, yeah. You're landing Beautiful big oh, stuff. You if you're landing regular, two foot land everything. Yeah. it is. It is doing a really good job. Um, it's funny though, yeah, because what five years ago I was trying to get away from Why? taper, exactly. and then now as I get more into my thirties, and, and this board is described as like a dad and mom board. It's kind of friendly for a lot of people that used to maybe be really freestyle, and now they're spending their time all mountain. Has a big good range of playfulness and freestyle, but also can ride in the backcountry. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I absolutely loved it. I brought it down thinking I was only gonna spend a couple days on it in Chile, and I spent the whole all your the footage is day. on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were on step-ons and on this the entire trip. Fawcett's been riding this a bunch too, and couldn't. I was given a power wagon, which I absolutely loved because there was some showstopper DNA. I feel like made its way into that board. 55 wide, that thing's been crushing. So I haven't had a chance, but Fawcett yeah. has been nonstop chatting yeah. and talking about this too. Yeah. Um, a tighter turning radius, like the the side cut radii in these was anywhere from seven to eight, uh, which I found interesting, but that's kind of lends to the 90s of it too. Yeah. Shorter contacts, so she'll be quick. Yeah. And what size were you riding? I was on this one, the 65. Okay. Um, and it is fairly wide, but you don't notice it when you're riding. I mean. I'm on a 165, I'm 6'1", I'm 185 pounds, so foot like... Foot size? What size? Fo foot size? Foot size, size 11. Yeah, okay. So this is a 270 millimeter waist width. There we um, go. But it definitely did not feel like it when I was going. And uh, and that's the 65, so that's like the big dog one. Mm -hmm. If you go down to a 160 size, I believe it's a 264 millimeter, so it's already transitioned. We, we will always put the correct measurements below Thank in you. case okay, we have off. it wrong. Yeah, I appreciate you that. You never know. I know I have the 15 mils of taper right, but uh, yeah. I did notice right away in looking at it, you know, it, it, it definitely has shorter contacts. So we we are into camber with rocker up front, yes. are we not? Yeah. So the old school S rocker, as it was called yeah. for so long there. Um, it also has a balanced free ride twin in it. That, see, if, that's cool. That yeah. I feel like slips by a lot of people. Like the easiest way I can describe that is the side cut and the camber will ride as if it's a twin board from your stance. But your stance is always set back, the rest of it's gonna be free ride. So that's the best way to kind of understand ah, yeah. how it's gonna ride on hard pack. And are you running reference? 
This one I did. Yeah. Yeah. So I think my stance is usually around 22.75. That was my next question. Yeah. 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 So this is 22 inches reference. Um, so I'll usually play with how much I move it when I get on a brand new board. But I'll usually run it back like, you know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, depending on which nose is over here. So three quarters of an inch back, half an inch forward. Cool. That's cool. And that'll balance out your swing weight oh, too. Oh, sorry, so I got spins. that wrong. Quarter, <laughs> quarter, quarter inch, inch and half an inch. Yeah. So that it balances gotcha. out to around 22.75. Swing weight, super balanced on this one. I could tell by it. You just all your footage. Yeah. You're landing, super, like you say, two feet. Yeah. Stable. No yeah. problems there. Yeah, I loved it. I had a lot of fun on this. These boards all haul ass because, again, you have another WFO base. Correct. Um, more wax. The harder, stronger, faster any of these bases get. I always say that, but that's that's the key with any of this. And these are gorgeous this year. I love this right? taper sunrise type vibe. Like, yeah, they really killed it. Nice. I actually really enjoyed that because I've been on the Family Tree Jake Blue bases, so they're pretty dark, you know, yep. very subtle. And then the summer when I was on this on a Lights sunny up the day, snow, and it was just right? popping. I was like, this is kind of fun being bright again. Oh, that's awesome. So, Solars, we like to get into your stance. Like we talked about your stance width. Now, what angles are you running? We talk about this a lot. We're we're constantly changing, exactly. manipulating. And I, like, I hesitate when I say that because. It is constantly moving for Good. me, but I would say I probably float in that like 15 to 17 range up front and then negative 11 to 14 ish. And that's EST channel. So I can, I'm not like dedicated or I'm not stuck to like the three degree increments. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can make small. So I kind of, exactly. I'm like constantly adjusting it. Um, and then, yeah, most of the time I will go right off reference. And then as I get to know a snowboard, I'll play with that. Yeah. Finding out where your sweet spot of your side cut is exactly. is usually what ends up happening with me for sure. Yeah. Now, in an ideal world, you're say you're going. You just got invited up to Baldface. Which which board are you taking? Is this is this now the board we're going to see you on all season? Or are you playing with a few others? If I'm going to Baldface, I'll be on this. Yep. Yeah. For now, sure. you're because this one is like like I was talking about that mid range, you know, where it is like really fun at like a low playful speed yeah it's got a ton of float it can handle as you get into like let's say higher speeds or less favorable snow conditions where it's getting a bit more choppy this is still going to be great it is a little softer than i'm used to but this absolutely is still more than enough snowboard for me mm -hmm. if i was going out filming i did get another one of these for next year so that's great okay uh but if i go out filming a lot of the time i will be running my stiffer more aggressive snowboard for those high speed outcomes cool very cool yeah, you guys got a little bit of tidbit of info there. So this is coming back next year as per Mark. So now now we know. Oh, we'll I mean, see. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would it not? It's yeah. It's been highly rec uh, requested upstairs. And Fawcett's a pretty particular guy too. And the fact that he's just nonstop going off about this thing is why I know I have to try yeah. it now soon. Yeah, it's great. Very, very soon. Top sheet wise, Burton is still with all the family tree boards, you know, sticking with a... a Bull. There's no automotive lacquers in this. This is an eco-based top sheet, um, keeping that environmental tip high. I can't remember what they're calling it. Everybody has a name for everything. But uh, again, you're just. It was the automotive lacquers that we saw for years in snowboards that were really, really, just terrible for the environment. So the evolution and where Family Tree and all Burton line is now yeah. is is super key. Yeah, step by step, making it better. Absolutely. And again, you know, you keyed in on the fact that we're dealing with. Unlimited stance options. That's my one favorite thing with the channel. It's just, it's so damn easy to get exactly where you want to be. And yeah. those m minute increments really do make a difference. Absolutely, yeah. Once you figure out your side cut, you're going to want to play in. So it's a bonus there for sure. Um, Mark, the other thing we like to talk about too, and I want to get into kind of, we did an overview here. What boots were you using with this guy? I am on the Ion Boa. Very cool. When I was on Step On, I was on Photon Boa. Yeah. I should note that. That makes sense. Yeah. Head to toe AK? Head to toe AK. Um, Which models I was from on, AK? I was on uh, Cichlet and Freebird Bib Pant. Cool. Cool. Yeah, the Cichlet Double Jackal. XL. Double yeah. XL. I'm getting what, into some baggy stuff again. Good. Again, the 90s are back. <laughs> the 90s I love are thinking. all of this. Early the 90s 2000s, are back. The 90s are back. Yeah, no, that that's great. And the Cichlet Jacket... We're gonna do, we will do a review on it and maybe we can drag Mark out for that again, but that's really been impressing me this year. And so that's another one we'll, uh, we'll put in a link down below so you can check that out. We just got a bunch in upstairs and they're looking they're great. really, really good. The whole good AK this line season. has really continues to grow into itself. It's awesome. Absolutely, man. Uh, goggles. 
toggles them on and and on M4, um, and then I also run syncs when I'm filming. Right on, man. Yeah. Right on. No, I think that's uh, that about wraps it up. Did you have any final impressions on this? Anything else you'd like to add? I mean, it's it's such a. I mean, I feel like this is self-explanatory. Yeah, it's, it's like the hometown hero ran king for a long time, and then this one is just really coming in, into its own. I mean, it's such a fun board for myself as a prof professional athlete, but then also for consumers because it just covers such a range of uh, of terrain that it can handle. Yeah, no, I I agree. I agree. It's and it just looks fantastic this yeah. year. You know, you said dad board, and it's that's not dad or mom board. Dad or mom it board. It gender. does come. Yeah, yeah. It goes down to a one forty. And that's um, not a bad term. We're not saying that in a way like th there's dad's rip. Yeah. Tons of dad's rip. Yeah. But it's just if you're riding with your kids, you know, you can still take this guy out. You can rip the bunny hill with the little guys if that's the case. You got a quicker side cut, an under eight meter side cut. So it's going to be fun in a lot of conditions. This on a groomer, you know, I really want to try that too. Oh, I know this will rule at ball face. Oh, yeah, it's but this on a groomer it's got a tighter is radius. Be. It's super fun to ride on groomers. Um, but that's exactly what Gorilla wanted. You know, yeah. he wanted a board that he could go out and ride with his kids for a while, and then as soon as they went in for lunch, he can go do his own kind of like runs for himself. Yeah. And I think it really translated into the snowboard. So I love it. I'm having a ton of fun on this, and uh, I will continue to ride it throughout the year. Fantastic. It's another quiver killer from Burton, the family tree line, the grill master. And again, thanks for subscribing. Solars, thank you so much for coming, my thanks man. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.